Hello and welcome to Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. I am Junior. So this, this was something I saw in early access. Uh, I don't remember exactly how long ago. But, uh, have you ever seen Totally Accurate Battle Simulator? This is kind of like that, except on a more grand, massive scale. And on multiple maps. And it can be fucking awesome at times. I played around a little bit, uh, there are a couple maps you can do, such as World of Thieves, which is a fun one. There's City of Lost Crusades, Avalanche Canyon, Flat Test Map, which is totally, absolutely fun! <laughs> World of Imperium, which actually has a little Colosseum spot, if I we're so inclined. A volcano, which is awesome because of the effect it has. And Modern City. Which is a modern city. The World of Thieves seems like one of the most fun ones to work on. And over here in units, we can choose them. Okay. We'll just ignore this happening over here. I want this. You can choose different categories, and each one has... I didn't notice there was an inanimate. Okay. Alright. So, what I like to do is just set up little skirmishes, especially around this castle area, because over here... Let's see. I'll just show you what kind of things I mean. It's easier for me to show than to explain. Alright, we're set. Let's get into this shit. So, Team 1 is led by the Soul Tyrant. He is commanding an army... 250 footmen led well with uh, this many spearmen about 10 of them leading the attack as well as having but that there in the distance the soul tyrant did have a plan on the side a small cavalry un unit rode to the battlefield using an alternate path and they stand ready for the signal to ride upon the castle to ride upon the castle of the island no the island of the castle that's the words but the stronghold knew of said approach and is going to bolster its own defenses. Knowing that the Soul Tyrant is marching from the land, they set up a wall of archers to defend the bridge to the castle. And of course, inside is defended by standard footmen who will go out to join the fight. And the main keep itself defended by heavy knights and the golden hero who will survive. Well, there's just one way to find out. The archers stand ready as the spearmen and the footmen make their advance. Waiting ever patiently. Where the hell are they going? Ah, 
Ah, the footmen are making their their march towards the cavalry, who are riding in from the direction that they're riding in from. This may be a mistake. Will the sheer number be enough to destroy the cavalry? There seems to be a trail of bodies left behind by the cavalrymen. They are slaughtering everyone. The Soul Tyrant isn't even in the fight itself yet. And these guys are just kind of chilling out here. One cavalry down on his... Two cavalry down. Three cavalry are down on their extremely shiny horses. This time. Those are fucking shiny horses. <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, but it looks like all the cavalry are down. The Soul Tyrant's march still continues. Shortly they shall reach the bridge. And these guys are still just kind of chilling out at the wall. Ah, they have reached the bridge, and the archers are taking their shots. It's enough to slow a couple of them down. Firing away, arrow after arrow. Slowing, slowing the advance, <laughs> or completely halting the advance of these soul tyrants quickly. The Soul Tyrant is just kind of chilling out at the back, waiting for an opening to get forward. Oh, the Spearmen are just getting to the fight. I kind of figured they'd be there sooner, but uh, this is a thing. It looks like the, the castle's footmen are nearly just gone. Only a handful holding behind the archers, waiting waiting to get in, into the fight. I can narrate battles as they happen. I'm good at it. On the plus side, it's doing all the cavalry for me, so there's that. Archers are dominating. Kind of. The Soul Tyrant might be able to break through very soon. The Tyrant's men shall march upon the fortress now. It seems the archers are going to befall. Befall? Fall soon. The Soul Tyrant is just out of... Oh, he's in range. The Soul Tyrant himself is going to... I think he just fucking died. I think the Soul... T no, he didn't. <laughs> I honestly thought he died just there. He probably was doing an attack. The Golden Knight. Holding steady. It's not going to be enough. This is a riveting shot right here. You can tell so much. It was a wall. This is the final battle for the island keep of Smagen Smorgenbergen. That's a place. Good job. Tyrant is right there. Just waiting to get a swing in. Good job. I think it looks like it might be down strictly to the Golden Knight. And the other heavies who are just kind of chill in there. It depends on who falls first.
I'm Good so glad dead. that the heavies are attacking the spearmen who is poking them. They are more interested in watching the fight between the tyrant and the golden knight. They are legitimately more interested in watching the fight between the tyrant and the golden knight. The golden knight has fallen. Soul Tyrant has taken the victory. On this day, on this day, the island keep of Smurgus Florgan Minifers has fallen to the forces of darkness. The carnage for the forces of light are is the carnage for the forces of light are is. The carnage for the forces of light is incredible. A vast army, tattered, torn, lost. On this day we shall remember the epic pile of bodies left behind. Today we will honor the sacrifice that the heroes have made and we pray that it is not in vain hello moon <laughs> oh that was that was fun let's uh let's do something else i i wanted to play around cuz with uh Heroes, because I saw Chunk Norris. Yes, so let's see. One Chunk Norris. I can only imagine what that's supposed to be. Fighting against, uh, who knows? A battle that will be told for the ages. The day Santa Claus and his 249 clones faced off against one bearded manly god incarnate chunk norris begin many merry christmases as you can see santa is no match for chunk norris they surround him as well as they can. But all that will remain is a circle of failure for Santa and all 249 clones. They don't stand a chance, apparently. That's it. Standing mightily above his victory, Chunk Norris waits. But can he stand a nuke? That's right. You don't fuck with Chunk Norris. All right, we're gonna do one more epic battle. A battle for the ages. 1,000 German soldiers facing off for control of this place, city, against 1,000 Tommy Gun Toten American soldiers. Begin. This should be interesting. This time it's oh, the Germans are already getting shots off. The Americans are retaliating. The question is 
is the steady shots of the Tommy gun going to outgun the accuracy of whatever rifle the Germans are using. At this rate, I'm not thinking so. The Americans are making a grave mistake. They're funneling everyone down one alleyway. And some of the Germans are having an actual strategic advantage here by trying to flank them. Let's see. The U.S. soldiers are currently ahead by just a handful at best. Both teams are under half of what they started with. Ooh, the Germans have closed the gap down there. Nope, they just lost. I was just about to say they closed the gap down to a uh, loss of 20. They, the Americans brought it back. That's unfortunate that uh, their best defense is a pile of bodies. Mostly of their own bodies. I want to get some of these guys out into the action. All right, gentlemen, let's go. For America. For America. Aye, aye, Captain. America! Tiny little squadron. Let's see how they do. See if the Germans have the accuracy over distance. Versus the Americans speed. That's what they like the Tommy guns for, apparently is their speed. They're still uh, bottlenecking in that alleyway, though. And then there's this crew who's kind of uh, still using a, a pile of their friends as cover and a shooting platform. This battle has raged for just uh, under 12 hours. The last three Ger two Germans make a glorious stand, and they've been shot down. And then everyone got nuked. Everybody's dead. Okay. One final test for my own amusement. How many? Oh god, that's way too many. I think I would crash a computer this way. One hundred thousand tables. Let's just see what one hundred thousand tables look like.
They're actually alive. Oh. Oh, God. I'm running at five frames per second. Four. Let's just drop this down. See how many tables are killed. Thirty thousand tables. Why are tables an actual soldier in this? Why are dressers actual soldiers in this? Why are the, why is this a unit? Yep. This is a thing. 100,000 nuked, nuked tables. <laughs> it only brought me down from 140 frames per second to three. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Anyways, this game runs surprisingly well for what you can do with it. And apparently I shouldn't do 100,000 of anything because that's a bad idea. But it does allow me to play out these epic battle scenes that I have in my head when I'm fucking bored out of my mind, and gives me an outlet, so for that, UEBS, good on ya. I want to thank you for giving me your time today so I can throw it out that window over there. And if you like this video for some reason, go ahead and hit that like button, and if you're new here, why not subscribe? What's the worst that could happen? Anyways, thank you! And I hope all of you have a wonderful day. Hey guys, once again, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see me find people who have lost their mind in Half Dead, click over to the left. And if you want to see the video YouTube thinks you would like, click over to the right. Now I gotta compile all those swooping shots, dialogue moments, see what kind of, uh, thing happens.